Hi, Holy Cross Student Ministry. Welcome back to me today. It is a beautiful Friday morning, uh, April 16, 2021. We are back in Living Grace, Walk in Love by Bob Goff, and it's with permission of Harper Collins Christian Publishing that we get to do these devotions together. Um, I love this devotion. Um, I'm, I, I love the concept of childlike faith. Um, today's devotion number 90, and it's called Quit Settling for a Reasonable Faith. And scripture today comes from Matthew 18, verse 3. It says this, he said, truly I tell you, unless you change and become like little children, you will never enter the kingdom of heaven. And here's today's version. There's this moment plenty of people face when they get to be around 40-year-olds. Um, <laughs> That's me. <laughs> they stop and ask themselves, is this it? The routines of life and all that they've worked towards start to feel a little bit empty. At least it's not living up to the hype and their expectations. Facing a future filled with several decades of monotony is paralyzing. Uh, and it's not what we imagined when we were kids. Some people buy motorcycles or get new tattoos when the boredom settles in. Some get into trouble and ruin the few beautiful things they had going for them. What I did was this. I traded in my office in a downtown Seattle high rise for a spot at Tom Sawyer Island. We don't feel the dull ache of boredom because we don't have options. We feel the ache because we've forgotten the magic in everyday moments. Here's the good news. We're all just one good decision and a trip to Tom Sawyer Island away from the life that we can still remember and the life that we really want. God put us on a playground with billions of people to hang out with. He told us that we could be part of his plan to make every person feel seen and celebrated. He gave us cotton candy and Ferris wheels and pianos and people who make music. He gave us imagination so we could dream things no one's ever done and a sense of humor so we'd find delight in every little thing. Sure, quitting my own law firm and moving to Tom Sawyer Island was a bad economic move, but it was a great new creation decision. Don't miss the chance to make yours today. Take the shot. If your faith feels boring, it's probably because you lost your sense of wonder a little while back. Quit settling for a reasonable faith. Trade it in for something far better, faith like a child's. And the reflection question for today says this, what could innocent childlike faith do to change your perspective today? Um, we had some family pictures taken by a very, very good photographer many years ago, and it was around our 10 year anniversary. Um, so we got back into our wedding clothes and, and we had some pictures taken. And um, I can remember the photographer saying, now laugh or smile. And you know, we all just kind of like awkwardly, like that's such a, a moment that's not truly organic. And it wasn't until my husband leaned over and just whispered fart that the entire family burst out laughing. Why? Why is that so funny? And it was in that moment I realized like when you, when you think, when you approach life like a small child, everything is a little bit easier. Everything is a little bit more fun. Everything is a little bit just, you know, more has, has, more, has more joy. Um, teaching small children, uh, being a teacher, a second grade teacher has been such a wonderful experience. Um, because I, I get to relive the same experiences, the same knowledge that I learned all those many years ago, but I get to see it through their eyes. I get to see it through the filter of small children and through my own children. It's been awesome. So let me pray with you. Uh, God, at some point between childhood and um, beyond that, uh, we tend to lose our faith. We tend to lose that, um, that childlike faith that you, that you put in us. Um, God, help us just to slow down long enough to realize the wonder of this beautiful planet. Help us to wonder, uh, to, to realize um, how many incredible things we have around us, the friends we have around us, the, um, just, just the incredible magnitude of your glory, um, of, of your creativity uh, in this world. I know every sunset um, kind of makes people stop and go, wow, look at that. And I wish that we could have those moments uh, I pray, Lord, that all of us would find one of those moments today, one or more of those moments today, that we could just stop and marvel um, at you and your magnificence um, and the creativity that you've, that you've put on this planet all around us. Um, help us to be a little bit more like Bob Goff and uh, find just the, the joy in uh, behaving like a child and, um, and stop worrying about all the, all the important things that we have to check off our list for the day. I pray that in Jesus' name. Amen. Have a great day.